What's going on guys, Satsuki the Savage here and this is a second Q&A. Of course, this is in celebration of me achieving 5,000 subscribers. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to me. Thank you for the comments. We didn't get that many as the first video. The first video, I think I had like 84 comments. This time we got 57, so it's a lot less, but it doesn't really bother me because it makes it easier for me to get through. And a lot of the comments or the questions were shorter than the first video so that works in my favor now if you just want your comment read what i'm going to do is i'm going to comment all the names that ask the question and i'm gonna leave timestamps. so again if you just want your question read all you have to do is read my comment look for your name get the timestamp, and then you're out of here but with all of that being said let's begin first question i got is from kilua zoldik and he asked me how tall are you I am 6'3", last time I checked, last time I went to the doctor, but honestly, that's been a while, which ain't good, but yeah, 6'3". Next question is from Bezzy Oz, and he said, my guy, I used to enjoy your Keenan review so much. Why did you stop? Did you drop it for now, or you still read but don't review? Do you plan to start reviewing it again? I answered this question, I think, in my... Hulkin is mid but necessary video and basically is I did stop reading Kingdom I didn't drop it I put it on hold because honestly Kingdom has some of the worst pacing that I have read is up there with Vinland Saga it's it's just not really fun for me to read week to week so I put it on hold and I plan on just rereading the whole series because it's a lot I forgot but as far as reviews, I don't know if I'm going to review Kingdom again because there's so many problems with Shueisha with that series in particular. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. I had to see people like Live Via Satellite go through so much shit trying to reinvent how he did his reviews because of Shueisha strikes. So it's, it's really tough. So I think reviews, at, le at least when it comes to me, are dead with Kingdom, but I didn't drop Kingdom. Next question is from Loth, and he said, what got you into anime, and what anime specifically was it that pulled you deep into this weed hellhole? I got this question last Q&A, and it was basically either Dragon Ball or Naruto. One of those two. My man JD Legend said, "Yeah, congrats, fella, fella. What are some adjustments you found yourself having to make to improve your channel? adjustments for me was just editing because th this is how I used to think like it it's so stupid but this is how I used to think when I did videos I would not want to edit anything because I always wanted to do it in one go because I have trouble speaking so I mess up constantly in videos but I tried to challenge myself to just push through it Fuck all the mistakes. If I make a mistake, then I'll just leave it in there. I'm not going to edit anything. That's how I used to think. Then I just got around and I say, you know what? I want to I want to make my videos look better. So I'm going to edit them. So that was an adjustment for me because I was just too hard-headed and stubborn. So yeah, editing really helped my channel, I think. Next question is from Pierce Jupiter and he wrote a long one and... I'm sorry, Pierce, but I told you, I told you in the question video that if your question was long, it wasn't going to get read. Now, your question was actually short, but your response was long as hell. So I'm only reading your question and answering. I'm not reading your response. All right. If you guys want to read his response, just read what's on the screen. Okay. Did you hate the two scenes between Satsuki and her mother and Kill I Kill? You know what I'm talking about. All right. So... The scene that he's talking about, I think, is the bath scene where you had Ragyo basically molest Satsuki. And that scene, I don't hate. I do think it was over the top because they didn't, the way they did it, it, they tried to make it kind of like appealing to the viewers. And it was like, no, you should not be getting aroused by this. All right. You be like, no, put the boner down. But yeah, I thought it was over the top, but. I didn't hate it just because it made Ragyo that much of a villain that needed to go. It was just like, yo, you're touching your own daughter. Like, you are on some other shit. So, it made Ragyo 
a more villainous person. And seeing Satsuki overcome that made her a stronger character in my eyes. So, no, I don't, I don't, I don't hate to see, but I do think it was a little much. Troll Film Production said, "What three anime slash manga endings are you most interested to see?" I guess I would say One Piece, Berserk, and Hunter x Hunter because One Piece is such a long running series and I watch so much of it that I want to see what Oda can pull off. Hunter x Hunter, same deal for me. I'm really interested to see what's going to be the result of the Dark Continent and what Tagashi has cooked up if it happens. And Berserk is another series that has been going on for a long time and with Griffith's powers, I want to see how Guts is going to take him out, if that's going to happen at all. The lid said, from a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a savage are you? I would say a 4. I don't think I'm savage at all. I think I'm a nice guy for the most part, but I could be an asshole sometimes, so I'll give myself a 4. My boy, looks like his Matt said, congrats on the 5k, man. I never asked, so curious, your favorite moment of One Punch Man. Oh, I didn't even think about this one, but just off the top of my head, my favorite moment has to be the Zombie Man chapter, and I think that was chapter 101, if I'm not mistaken, but I loved everything about that chapter because it had this vampire hunter vibe, and my boy Zombie Man versus Pure Blood died 200 times, 200 times, and still came away with the W. It just, that chapter... That was it. Like, that was the best chapter of One Punch Man for me personally. So, I would say the zombie man dying 200 times, but coming back for the W and then seeing him all messed up after the fight, that was one of the best moments for One Punch Man, in my opinion. Alton English said, weekly reviews, Black Clover. I don't know what you're asking. Weekly reviews, I, I don't know, Black Clover that's not getting read so no tiger in the mist said the question i have what is going on with hunter hunter are they coming out with more new manga are they working on continuing the tv show what the hell is going on with hunter hunter now i don't know why people ask me this question i mean i do know it's because i make hunter hunter videos but listen i'm talking to everybody i don't have any inside information when it comes to any series not hunter hunter anything go to people like yako if you want information like that i don't know what's going on with hunter hunter as far as the anime that's not going to return for a long time and that's not because i have inside information it's just because there's only been about like 50 chapters of content after where the anime ended so just logically the anime it's just not enough content for it to come back if they want to do same amount of episodes as the 2011 version. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on with Hunter x Hunter. As far as the manga, don't know. Don't know anything about Tagashi. Again, I don't have that information. Ade Bayo said, one, since you dropped both series, which one is better, Naruto or One Piece, and explain why. Two, what happened to your reaction channel? Well, this person didn't listen because I said no two-part questions, but fuck it, we'll do it. For one, I think One Piece is better, and I think it's better by a lot. And I just think it's better because right now, One Piece is, it has the benefit of the doubt. Like, Naruto already ended, and I did not like his ending. I did not like the war arc. So that arc already put a bad taste in my mouth. One Piece, since it has not ended, it has the benefit of not having a trash ending and the trash ending can do a lot for my perception of if a series is good or not so yeah i would say one piece and I, I just think overall like the characters and the story of one piece is just better than naruto that's just my opinion as far as the second channel what happened to the reaction channel i already started posting there i posted two videos since you asked this question so that's what's going on. It's coming back. Or it already is back. So, yeah. Uh, this fuck nigga. I mean, ooh. This fuck boy. I don't really know him personally. But his name is Morgan the God. He asked me, who put you on? Answer honestly in all caps, I might add. Nobody put me on. I don't think so. 
I mean, people did help my channel, but nobody put me on. Like, nobody was like, yo, hey, subscribe to this man. And, like, I just blew up because of somebody's word, dog. Nobody put me on, so... That's my answer. Quan X Quan 6 asked me, if Shishigami from Inuyashiki teamed up with Light Yagami, you think that would be a good team up? No, I don't because I'm pretty sure Shishigami is the guy who goes bong and kills people. There's a lot of things wrong with him. First is he kills people for no reason at all. At least Light is killing criminals and people in his way. So there's a pattern to Light's killings. Shishigami or Shishi, Shishigami, yeah kills people indiscriminately if, if you're in his way he's it it just going to kill you so they have a discrepancy in their methods of killing and shishigami is just not smart so light would probably not want him teaming up with him so no i don't think that would be a good pairing rye easy Two asked me have you watched the boondocks yes my favorite episode might hmm I don't know what's my favorite episode. It might be the Health Inspector episode, but I would have to really, really think. The Dodgeball episode was good as well, but yeah, those are my favorite episodes. Actually, no, I take that back. My favorite episode was the Xbox Killer episode where you had, and I'm forgetting their names, but you had the store robbery when the guy was like, yo, put your hands up. He's got a gun. He was like, yo, I don't got a gun. That was probably my favorite episode. Last Lasagna said, are there any anime slash manga that you will not watch slash read and why? There are plenty, plenty of anime and manga. I refuse to watch or read Black Clover. As I said earlier, it's one of them. I'm just not doing it. Actually, I, I have read, oh no, no, I have watched like six episodes of the anime and I dropped it. I said no more, but I will never in my life watch Dragon Ball Super under any circumstances. I feel like that franchise has been run into the ground with this stupidity. You have Frieza coming back for like a four fucking time. <laughs> like, and, and the way he comes back, I trained for four or three months and now I'm as strong as these guys. Like, it, And this is all stuff I know without watching it. Mind you, I have not watched a single episode of Dragon Ball Super as far as I've gone with watching the series, it's watching the opening and just dropping it just so I can boost my stats on my anime list. That is it. I don't know any more series that I will, I refuse to watch, but Dragon Ball Super definitely comes to my mind. It's your boy Russ asked me, 10 niggas you would want to meet up from the Discord. Hashtag Freedom State Game. Okay, now, whew, if... We're just talking about people in Freedom State. This is hard for me because I didn't really think of a list, but... Okay, so this I would be. It would be Dustin, Senpai Beef, Morgan, Wally, Key, Perry, so that's six, Godson, Grim. I don't know if he's in Freedom State, but I'm still going to say Grim. And I got two more? Woo! Um... See, this is when it starts to get hard. Six Path, the last person. Uh, wave. So those are my 10 people. A lot of M5 people, but that's to be expected. But yeah, I think, not, not that I wouldn't want to meet up with anybody else, but those are the people that come to my mind uh, very quickly. So yeah, those are my 10 people. Baruta says, congrats, man. You totally deserve it. My question is, what are the fights that you want him to happen in Hunter Hunter? What fights? Uh, as far as what's happening right now, I would say Hisoka versus Phaeton. I really want to see that fight happen because a lot of Phaeton lovers think that Hisoka would get washed by him. And no, I think, in my opinion, Hisoka is up there with Krolo. Yes, he lost against Krolo, but that's because Krolo was prepped up and he was just... Well, I, I do think Krolo is stronger than Hisoka. But I don't think it's some astronomical gap between the two. So when it comes to Phaeton and Hisoka, they're around the same level. But I think Hisoka is a notch above Phaeton. So I would like to see that fight happen just so it can quiet the Phaeton fanboys, all right? And I guess Karapika versus the fourth prince. 
I feel like that's something that is going to have to happen. So those are two matchups I want to see. Grim Reaper asked me, I've groomed my dreads to resemble yours. Any advice on how I can get them to be exact? There's no way because my dreads are free form. They're free form. They're semi free form. Okay. Because when I was starting my dreads and I know Grim is trolling, but I'm still answering. When I was, when I was starting my dreads and I just had an afro, I would use the sponge the the twist sponge i don't know what you call it or magic sponge that's what they used to call it and i would use that and it would knock my hair up in sections and from that point on i just let my hair grow out i would wash it i use dread shampoo but i never got my hair twisted or anything like that so it was just me naturally growing my hair out and i don't i don't think you could replicate my hair like that because it's it just naturally grew out from that. I mean, it started from the the sponges, but that all that does is section your hair. It doesn't, you don't know how it's going to turn out when it actually grows. So there. Do it with a Don Tom asked me. Congrats on 5K. Let's get to 8K by the end of the year. I don't know about that one, but question. For those who may not know your vibe, what's your way about networking slash collabing with others? slash vice versa i want to hear it from the man himself when it comes to collaborating and networking that's not something i'm a big fan of and listen because i gotta say this right it's not that i i don't collab with people because that's that's just not true it's just that i don't seek it all the time now if i'm if I'm cool with somebody, then yeah, I'll do a video with them. It's just, it's like that. But I'm not seeking to do a video with another YouTuber to get views or anything like that, get my name out there, because it's just not me. I'm very introverted. I keep to myself. So it's just to select people that I'm cool with, that I talk to, and it just goes from there. I don't go out of my way to network and try to talk to this person and get these connections is it's too much for me all right so when it comes to networking that's just not my mo all right that's why i have to give a shout out to tom because he is the one who got me in the community if it wasn't for tom i probably would have never joined freedom state i probably would have never met the people that i know and talk to on a daily basis as far as the youtube community so uh, i appreciate tom for that because i'm not a networking nigga but you know, Tom kind of is. So he definitely helped me on that side. Horse Gang asked me, ass or titties? Me personally, I'm an ass man. I just, I, I respect the curve. So yeah, ass. Everything Animated said, congrats on reaching the 5K club. My question is, when are you reviewing Attack on Titan? LOL, JK, I just wanted to congratulate you. Well, thank you, EA, but I'm still going to answer the question. Because people have literally been asking that. So, Attack on Titan, I haven't been reviewing. Just It's just, it's not that I haven't been liking the series. Although, the last chapter I was really iffy on. It's just that I haven't been feeling up to reviewing it and talking about it. So, if I don't feel up to talking about something, the review's not going to happen. I'm not going to push through it anymore because my enthusiasm shows. And if I'm not excited for a chapter or... If I'm not excited to do a review, period, then I'm not going to do it because I feel like the video comes off as disingenuous and it just is not a good vibe. All right. I just don't like it. So, yeah, next chapter, we'll see where it goes with Attack on Titan. But that's what's going on with the reviews. But thank you, EA. John Boy said, how much would Shueisha have to pay you? For you to quit your job, move to Japan to work with them, and claim YouTube videos on their behalf. That's like the ultimate snake move. They would have to pay me a hundred thou. A hundred thou. And not yen. A hundred thou in US dollars for me to do all that. For me to snitch on my own people. Which, that ain't much, but hey. It's just snitching on other YouTubers. It's not like it's actually my, my people like that. But yeah. Because I'm going to another country too, which I don't want to. I don't want to stay in Japan. So, yeah, they would have to pay me a hundred thou if they wanted me to do all that. Nizunia asked, "When do you think Tagashi is coming back?" Honestly, I don't know, but allow me to talk to Hunter Hunter fans because you guys need to hear this. Stop being so fucking. 
gullible. Stop going on the internet, whether it be Twitter, YouTube, and believing someone every time when they say, Hunter Hunter is coming back 2000, whatever. All right, stop believing it. Look for the sources. Seek the information out for yourself, all right? If they're not credible, a credible source of information, don't believe them. Be skeptical. I will see these YouTubers saying, Hunter Hunter is coming back this time. And then when it doesn't happen, everybody's disappointed but i put the fault on you guys for even believing that in the first place all right you know be more skeptical that's all i gotta say but yeah i don't know when tagashi's coming back mega remy 23 asked will you please make a farmers only.com account and make vids on updates on the donkey bitches no i will not mega remy Okay, I won't do that. Although I did have a farmer's only account where I was looking or I was seeking cowgirls to put them in a cowgirl position so I can milk them udders while she rides me like a tractor. But unfortunately, it didn't play out. So yeah, Marcus Taylor said, congrats, dad. We'll pop bottles later. Hold on, hold on now. You already just hold on now. You are no son of mine. All right, that's first, first and foremost. Has there ever been a series you were thoroughly enjoying that completely fucked up the ending? Prison school. <laughs> prison school fucked everything up for me. I love prison school. Top notch fan service. The comedy was on point. And then that ending, the epilogue, it shot me. Just pop, pop. Woof. Ricky. That shit hurt. That shit hurt it. So yeah, I would say prison school. A cheat nut asked. Who is a worse character, May from Citrus or Hina from Domestic Girlfriend? And this probably is the best question, all right? Because this is very interesting. When it comes from a character standpoint, not from who I like the most, because if I had to choose who I like the most, I would say May from Citrus because she gets better. But from a character standpoint, I think May is worse. May's character consists of just keeping things to herself just to have this mysterious aura, but she's not all that mysterious. She's just like a cool today. Like you, you, someone who's cold, but then eventually warms up to their love interest or whomever. That's all there is to her character. At least with Hina, she's multifaceted. Like with her struggle to be an adult, She's like 24 at the start of the series, but she's still acting childish. So there's a struggle for her to be a role model for her sister. And that's that's pretty interesting. So I think her character is a lot more intriguing than May's character. So just from a character standpoint, Hina is better. But who I, who I, who do I like more? May. All right. But yeah, that's just me. Nanana Nico. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but they said... Who's your favorite Hunter Hunter characters? P.S. Reed Helper is the best webtoon. To the second thing, no, I'm not doing that. Hell no. But who is my favorite Hunter Hunter characters? I don't want to reveal that because I plan to do a video, but I will tell you my favorite Hunter Hunter character is Karapika. That's all I can tell you. I'm not trying to ruin my list right now. So sorry I couldn't answer that in full. But yeah, favorite character is Karapika. Matt Smith said, what has been your experience in the otaku culture? Have you encountered a lot of bigotry in it? What's the future look liking like? Look liking like? Um, I haven't experienced any bigotry in the anime community, at least on a personal level, because I've seen and I've heard things from other people but at least when it pertains to me and my experience no i haven't experienced anything like that and i am blessed not to experience anything like that because no you know i don't wish racism or any other you know horrible discrimination like that upon anybody in any community so no i haven't experienced that myself uh i don't know what the second question is asking me. If you're asking me just like, what, what's my future looking like when it comes to this channel? Hell if I know. I'm just making videos. So, hey, I guess I'll see later. Crimson Black 614 asked me, how long do you predict the Secession War arc in the Dark Continent arc will take in years to finish? Like this man is going to be 60 and keep pumping out Hunter Hunter chapters. I think when it comes to the Secession War arc, I think... Tagashi probably has 30 chapters left of this arc. Maybe less. Maybe like 
21 could be around that range but yeah if if we're doing it like that and he goes back to his schedule which is 10 chapters every year then we would finish it three years but i don't know when it comes to the dark continent i don't know how long that's going to be i'll just guess to say maybe that'll be 60 plus chapters so that would be another six years to complete that so in total maybe eight years so I have no clue. I, I don't know what Tagashi's schedule is looking like. I'm not that so raven, so I can't predict the future. That's just what I think. Francisco Carboni asked, Fave character of Hunter x Hunter and most hated one. Same for the arcs. Favorite character of Hunter x Hunter is Karapika. Most hated one? That's kind of tough. Let me think. Let me go through arc to arc. I would say Poof. I did not like Poof at all. I hated Poof anytime he was on screen, so... That might be my most hated character. As far as arcs, favorite arc would be the York New Arc. And if you want to know my worst arc of Hunter x Hunter, I would probably say oh, it may be the Greed Island arc. Although I like the fight between Gon and Genthru, that arc in its totality didn't really compare to the other arcs. So Greed Island is my worst. A shoe toast. Balsu Brahmania asked me, and I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's as best that's the best you're gonna get. They asked me, hey, congrats on 5k, you deserve it. Question: How did Aluka's plot convenience and Kite's resurrection hinder your enjoyment of the adult going transformation scene in hindsight? Thanks. Well, I didn't like the whole Aluka situation at all. Uh, I don't know if people know this, but I I hated it. I, it didn't really do anything as far as my enjoyment of the Gone transformation scene. Actually, I don't really like that scene that much. Like, it, it was cool to see him punch Pito the fuck up. But me personally, I didn't think that was a, a top tier moment in Hunter x Hunter. At least for me. Okay, that's just me speaking. But it didn't do anything as far as my enjoyment of that scene because I already didn't have that much enjoyment of it but it did just make me look at that arc differently because the election arc because it was just or actually it made me look at the the chimera ant arc different because it was like go he sacrificed himself but then got revived the arc later and it and the way it happened with aluka no i didn't like the plot convenience at all that's probably one of my most hated moment in hunter x hunter was a luka reviving gone so yeah it didn't do much when it came to the transformation but as far as my perception of the arc the chimera and arc it kind of ruined things for me a little the heart 96 said congrats on the bit five my question is does your mom know you're a slice of life loving ape just playing when you started making videos, did you think you reached 5k subs or anywhere close? My mom doesn't know I'm a slice of life loving eight. Not yet. Maybe I'll tell her later. But when it comes to did I think I would reach 5k subs, I thought I was capable of doing it. But when I first started doing it, no. I didn't know I didn't even know I was gonna start a YouTube channel or keep making videos. I just uploaded a video and I was like, Yeah, this is fun. And I just kept doing it and Eventually, when I started making Hunter Hunter videos, I believe that's when I had the vision in mind that I can get I can get a high sub count if I just keep trying and I keep getting better with editing and my videos and me speaking. So it, it was it was a vision that came later. It definitely wasn't something at the start that I said, "Yo, I'm gonna get five k sub." Nah, that didn't happen. It just was a progressive thing, I believe. Rep the base said. What are your thoughts on Norman's fate in the new The Promised Neverland manga chapters? If you're caught up, do you think he survives? I don't read The Promised Neverland. I dropped it around chapter 100. So I don't know what's going on with Norman at all. Actually, I do know a little bit, but I can't really speak on it since I don't read it. So I'm sorry. Cool Kid says, congrats on 5K. So with this is supposed to be your anime we've had, what do you think is going to be considered the anime of the year? Not your pit, but if hypothetically Crunchyroll's award had every possible show for best of the year what 
what the majority pick with how good this year has been, including series that are still planned to air this year. I think My Hero Academia is going to be the anime of the year for people just because it's so popular and because the arc that is being adapted with this season is regarded as the best by many in the My Hero Academia fandom. So I think, you know, with it being the best arc, cult with bones and their animation and them always enhancing My Hero Academia, I just think it's a combination for My Hero Academia to sweep everybody up and become the anime of the year. Now, again, that's just my expectations. I don't, me personally, I'm not going to watch this season. So, of course, I would pick it for anime of the year. My anime of the year, even though you didn't ask, would probably be Attack on Titan with Fruits Basket coming in for the sneak because Fruits, ba Fruits Basket has been hitting on all cylinders. So, that's my personal choice. But, yeah, Zippo Zip said... Congrats, brother. You deserve it. Well done. Keep up the grind. I appreciate that. Also, my question, are you done with the Attack on Titan manga reviews? Seems like the series is close to the wrap-up of the story. I'm hoping we hear something about Levi. As I said before, I'm not done with the Attack on Titan reviews. It's just that I have not been feeling up to doing them. So, if I don't feel that, I'm not doing a review. So, that's what's been going on in terms of the reviews. Geo Geo says, what do you think of the Pokemon games? And if so, do you have a favorite one? Congrats to your milestone, Chief. Appreciate that first and foremost. But when it comes to the Pokemon games, I like them. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon. I think the first Pokemon I played might have been like Yellow or something like that on the original Game Boy. But yeah, I love the Pokemon franchise, even though it when it comes to now, I'm not feeling it because it's too many Pokemon. I, I can't fucking catch them all. I, there's no way to catch them all anymore. So I stopped at Pokemon White. I still got to finish that game. So as far as I've gone, it's Gen 5. But my favorite one is really fucking hard because it's between these two. It's between Heart Gold slash Soul Silver and Emerald. And if I had to pick one, I might have to go Emerald just because nostalgic value. I, I used to play that game so much. I've literally beat that game maybe like five plus times because I just love it so much. I love that region. I love that generation. So I would say Pokemon Emerald. My man G-Man Daywalker Reporter asked me, congratulations. What would it take for me, an upcoming manga artist, to make a series that appeals to your sensibilities and taste? As far as when it comes to me, just what I like in a manga, or series in general, characters for one. Like, characters is maybe the biggest thing that I look for. Because if I can connect to a character, even if your story is not up to par with my standards, you can get by. As a comic got killed, I did not like the story, but I kept watching simply because of Esdev. So, characters first and foremost. They just gotta have a good cast of characters, and then it, it goes to your story. Is it intriguing? Is it captivating? Uh, what's the premise? It, it's not much that you need to impress me, but if, if it's just one aspect that... I look for in the series is the cast of characters. Ken Mass says, have you watched slash read Tenjo Tenge? Honestly, man, I've never seen such a horrible series in my life. No, I have not. So, nah, I haven't seen that. My man Keen Nelly Boy says, top three favorite experiences slash moments as a content creator. Top three moments. I can't say moments, just what I like being a YouTuber is first and foremost getting comments like, oh, your video helped, or I like your pers your perspective on things. I like I like hearing people comment stuff like that, all right? You know, I, I need the praise sometimes because sometimes I, I make videos that I just be like, damn, I don't know how this is going to be perceived. So getting that feedback from others, or e you don't even have to praise me. You could just be invested in a video and give your honest critique and I will appreciate that as well. So having people actually watch your videos and tell you what they think of your videos, that's that's something I appreciate. Connecting with community is second. You know, me being a YouTuber, I've talked to a lot of people because of my position and I, I love the people that I'm talking to. Uh, 
it's it's just been fun talking to other people about manga and anime. And third, I would say third is just making the videos, pushing myself to make better videos than I did in previous time. Because I'll look at some of my old videos and I think, man, this shit is trash. I don't know how I uploaded this. And it pushes me to make better videos. So I would say in total, it would be first just having people watch my videos and giving me feedback. Second is connecting with the community. And third is just making videos. Low poll bias season. Hope I said that right. Said, who's a bigger A, Naya or Virgo? All right, ooh. Ooh, okay, who's a bigger A? I have to go with Naya. He is the ape. He is the king A. He is King Kong, all right? He's Caesar. He's the biggest A, okay? Virgo's up there. He's an ape too, but I believe him is, is more of an ape. So, yeah. Von Too Cole asks, will you be playing NBA 2K20 this year? This person knows me in real life. This person knows I haven't fucked with NBA 2K since 18. So, hell no, I'm not playing it. They not getting my money. No, no, it's not happening. All right. So, to answer your question, fuck no. Wasted Banana says, congrats. If you were to write a manga slash comic, what would it be about? I would want to write a Yuri series that is a slice of life slash comedy that is actually good because I don't see them doing good. I would have themes of homosexuality when it comes to social norms because I, I feel like Citrus, for one, is one that it, it, it has surface level things, but it didn't go deep into it. I would want to have themes like that and, you know, expand upon that because it's very interesting to me. So, yeah, I would want a good Yuri series that, you know, and it has the fan server, you know, you got the fan server, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, uh, a Yuri slice of life series that has comedy as well with hard hitting themes. Levi underscore says, thoughts on Kashin Koji and Boruto manga? Is he Jiraiya or Link to him at the very least? I don't read Boruto. That's another series that's not ever getting read by me, so I don't know who this person is. I don't know why I'm hearing about Jiraiya. Ain't that nigga supposed to be dead or, you know, what's going on? I actually, don't tell me, because I don't care, but fuck Boruto. Spencer Skirt Skirt 5 said favorite on going manga and anime right now. Manga favorite. I would have to say Attack on Titan with Citrus Plus also coming in there. You know, got a shout out to Yuri. And anime right now, I would have to say that's airing right now. I would have to say it's Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket 2019. Now, if we're talking about in totality, I would say Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2. But yeah, Vernier Ball says. Shit, 5K or day, my dude? Oh, already, my dude. Congrats. I DK, what to ask anymore. Just want to congratulate and holla. I appreciate you, Vernier Boss, because he's been on the channel for a long time. And even though that wasn't a question, had to put that on the screen because he is an OG when it comes to my comment section. Mr. Flame says, 5K, congrats, Mr. Savage. So what is your favorite game from your childhood? For me, it was Mario Kart Double Dash on GameCube. From my childhood, if I'm not including any Pokemon games, I would say maybe Final Fantasy X. Uh, Polar, Polar Bowling. Uh, was, that was a game on the computer that I loved. Um, and maybe... Uh, X-Men... X... -Men, X -er. X-Men Legend of the Apocalypse or some shit like that too. That was, I used to play that on GameCube, I believe. And that game was so fun. Uh, and Def Jam Fight for New York. So yeah, those are my games. My man, QRW6, who always has the best comments, says, congrats on your 5K sub. Keep up the grind. My question is, would you ever do a top 15 most disliked character rant? Because I want to see where you would rank Natsu and Kirito. Maybe not top 15, maybe top 10. Yeah, I might do that. I mean, that's a possibility. We'll see. We'll definitely see. JDX629 says, congrats on the subs. Love your content. My question is, what are your top 10 favorite anime? 
This is a long one. I'm not going to explain why, but this is off the top of my head. All right, so things may be rearranged later, but I would say it's Kill I Kill, Cole Gias, Bacano, Steinsgate, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Then you got to put Planets on there. Then you got to put Spice and Wolf. Then I would say Fate Zero. Then I would say Shinsekai Yori and Higurashi. Those are off the top of my head, all right? So it may not actually be that, but that's just from what I can think of right now. Brett Williams says, what is your favorite Hunter Hunter arc? I answered this already. It is the York New arc. My man Key says, what are you proud of but never have an excuse to talk about on the channel? Also, Key over Morgan. What am I proud of but haven't had the excuse to talk about on the channel um i get i mean this this has nothing to do with the channel and i i, I don't like like bragging about myself like that because i'm not that type of dude but i did win uh valedictorian in high school that that's something i'm proud of and matter let me get the plaque let me get the plaque all right just so people Ain't like, you capping, you capping. Let me get the plaque. All right, so, yeah, here it is. All right, I'm covering up the name because I don't want y'all knowing my full name, but my first name is Nick, so there's another thing about me. But, yeah, this is the plaque. Uh, it's, it's not exactly what you think it is because I did win valedictorian, but it wasn't for the whole school because they had two different sections they had like the magnet students and the traditional students the magnet students were there for uh you know talent they like they would play music or or acting something like that i was a traditional student just like a regular student who just went there so i won valedictorian when it came to those pool of students but yeah that's something i'm proud of but it's no reason to talk about it on this channel so yeah darius the desperado says why is John not your GOAT? Congrats, G. But hashtag John the motherfucking GOAT. John is not my GOAT because Sarah is out. I love Sarah. I love Sarah. Sarah is so cold. She is so cool, so collected, so raw. She got fucked up, but that's a different... That's, that's a topic for another day. But Sarah is my GOAT. And then I like Arlo. And then I like Remy. And then I'm starting to like Cecil. So, hey, John ain't my goal. That's all I got to say. Light Ruler 003 says, who is the biggest drunk, Virgo or Hemmings? I haven't really seen Virgo drunk too much. I seen him on the Ghetto Reverie stream drinking. So that was one thing. But that was the only time. Hemmings, I have heard him on stream, seen him being in the stream with him drinking. So I would say Hemings is a bigger drunk because this nigga would just pop bottles midday. I'd be like, Hemings, what? Drink water. What? what where's the H2O? He's just like, water? <laughs> that shit nasty. Nah, give me that Crown Royal. Up. That That's him. So Hemings is the bigger drunk. My man AC Stoney says, are you picking MOP back up? And if you don't know what MOP is, it stands for mid-ass one word, one piece. Okay, so there you go. Yo, what manga has disappointed you the most other than MOP? I'm not picking One Piece up right now. It's just, it's not happening. I'm not thinking about One Piece. I'm trying to forget about it. I muted a lot of One Piece related words on Twitter. Out of sight, out of mind. But as far as what manga has disappointed me more than mid-ass One Piece, uh, it's a lot of other series that have disappointed me more than one Piece, Prison School being one of them, Bleach ending being super trash, Duroro disappointed me, although I still really like it, it's ending really disappointed me, so it's a lot of other series that disappointed me more than One Piece, it's just, <sighs> One Piece just drove me off, off up the wall and week to week, nah, so I hope that answers your question. I am Hongi12345 says, if Kinshiro doesn't live in a post-apocalyptic world, would he have been seen as a serial killer? Some samples of his exploits. I don't know who that is. So, hey, if he killed niggas, he's a serial killer. There. Luna Wolf says, 
What do you think is the worst work of fiction you've ever consumed? Congrats, by the way. Appreciate it. Worst fiction? Um, I don't know exactly because if it's that bad, I probably forgot about it. But my whole shoujo site was pretty goddamn bad. Chaos Head was also another series that was pretty goddamn bad. So <laughs> those two, I guess, are competing for the worst series I've seen. So there you go. And the last question goes to the underscore gas X. He asks, how would your perfect harem look like? All right. So now my harem is based on looks and personality. OK, because I can't have someone that just looks good, but they just have a shitty personality. So this is how I think it would go. I need Akano from High School DSD because she is a freak. She is an absolute freak and she is willing to do anything. <laughs> Akano, Akano, Yori Chi from Bleach. I gotta, I gotta have my queens. I, I gotta have my black queens on there, okay? Then, oh, this is tough. Fabuki from One Punch Man. Gotta have, you know I gotta have her on there. I would need Mira Jane from Fairy Tale. Not because I think she looks the best, but because I need a sweet personality type of girl on my squad. I, I, I need it. So Mira Jane. And this last one, her personality is bad, but her body is just Mari Kurohara from Prison School. Again, bad personality. She's the only exception in my harem. But I just got to go with her because her body's just... Oof. So that would that's how my harem would look. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the questions. I want to give a thank you to everybody who asked questions and who followed the rules that I set. All right. But yeah, I'm going to be out of here. I was going to talk about my influences and why I started YouTube on this video as well. But I'll say that for a separate video because... This video has gone on way too long for me. I'm sweating because I had to turn off my air condition because it makes too much noise. So I am out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Satsuki the Savage out. Am I dying to live or am I living to die? Living a lie with my hands stressed out. See, I'm stressed about being the best out. Visions in my